What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create the black promise effect without having a physical black promise filter. To do that we're just going to use some simple tools found in Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. But before we do that let's quickly go over what a black promise filter is. So in its simplest sense a black promise is a diffusion filter that diffuses the highlights and erases some of the contrast. This is done to give the digital image a more natural and filmic look. First off, just go ahead and edit the image as per usual according to your style. For the purpose of this video, I've imported a previously edited image. So now that you've finished all your Lightroom adjustments, let's open the image up in Photoshop because that's where most of the magic happens for this effect. To do that, simply press Ctrl E on your keyboard and Adobe will automatically open the image up in Photoshop. So what we'll be doing here is to manually diffuse the highlights, but of course we don't want to diffuse the whole image because that would mean a lot of loss of detail. So the first step is to mask out the highlights. But don't worry, my specific technique is really easy and it doesn't take long at all, it just takes 3 or 4 clicks. Start off by duplicating the layer by hitting Ctrl J on your keyboard. Then make sure the layer is selected and navigate to the top left hand corner of the screen. Find the image menu, click on it and find the apply image setting. After you click that, the pop-up window should appear where your settings have to match the settings on my screen. After that, just hit OK and you should be good to go. More often than not, this masks out the highlight accurately enough for the effect. But you might think that we just ruined the image by applying the image on the other layer. But that's just because we haven't adjusted our blending options yet. To do that, navigate to the layers panel and select the blending options and select the blending options screen. We can already see that that has made a huge difference in the highlight diffusion. Here's the before and the after. Now we simply need to diffuse our highlights. To do that, make sure that the top layer is selected, then navigate to the filter menu. Then select blur and Gaussian blur. Now yet another pop-up menu will open, and in this pop-up menu you can simply adjust the blurriness of the pixels. I find that matching the amount of pixels blurred to the megapixel count in your camera usually works the best and gives you the best look. But of course you're free to play around with the slider to see what looks best for you. But to really sell the effect, we still have a couple of steps in front of us. First off, we have to bring the image back to Lightroom to add a couple more adjustments. To do that, simply hit Ctrl S and Adobe will do the rest for you. Back in Lightroom, we're going to use the contrast slider to remove a bit of the harsh contrast that comes with the digital image. In addition to that, we'll hit K on our keyboard to use the brush tool to remove clarity out of certain areas of the image, and maybe even boost the exposure up in the highlights. Once again, you are free to play around with the sliders in Lightroom to get the best result for your image. But that's basically a wrap for this effect, and this is our final result. So to recap, we went from this to this. And all of that by not using a physical filter. Anyways guys, that's it from me. I hope I could teach you something new today and I wish you all a lot of fun when trying out the effects for yourselves. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. But with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.